it seems this new update for the Avata 2 is causing quite a few issues because loads of people are having problems getting it. Now, this is just a quick PSA video on what you need to do to get your system updated. It's not really a how-to because I've already done mine. However, I can tell you the things that you need to know to make sure that you can update the Avata 2, the Goggles 3, the Goggles 2, the FPV 2 and 3 remote controllers. Now, for those who don't know, this update allows the new DJI Avata 2 to finally work with the DJI Goggles 2 or the goggles Integra as well as the DJI FPV remote version 2. Now there are some quirks to this that I am not going over in this video but the basics are today this update gives you compatibility with some of DJI's older FPV products. Now there are a few quirks to this update and the first one is it isn't available via Assistant 2 for FPV, Assistant 2 for consumer drones or any of the Assistant 2's at the point of me making this video. The only way to get this update is via the DJI Fly app but it must be the latest Fly app as well. If you've got an older version of the Fly app on your phone it will not prompt you to update the app and it will not prompt you to do the update. The Fly app version you need is version 1 13.4 that is the same on Android and iOS you can download it from the Apple App Store or you can download it from the DJI website for Android if you though already have a version on your phone you may not be prompted to update it so my advice is delete the fly app that you've got on your smart device already download the latest version Apple for iOS, DJ for the Android and then make sure that it is version 1 Point thirteen, point four. Then, once you've got that version, you will then need to connect your Avata 2, your Goggles 3 and your Remote 3, power them on, connect the Goggles 3 to your phone via the USB cable, so you will connect it via that USB port on the bottom. You may need an OTG cable, they do include one with the kit. Then, you should be prompted to update the firmware on these parts of the system. With regards to updating the firmware on the Goggles 2 and the FPV Remote 2, the situation is basically the same. You can't connect these to the Avata 2 yet. What you will need to do, and this is what I had to do, was power up my DJI Avata, connect these to them as normal, and then connect it to that latest version of the Fly app, and then it prompted me to update. Now you should actually be able to upgrade the goggles too on their own with the fly app. However, for many people this isn't working. One thing to note is you can't do that with the FPV remote anyway. This either has to be updated connected to a drone or updated via Assistant 2. However, Assistant 2 doesn't have new firmware for this yet. So right now, the only reliable way to upgrade the original Goggles 2 or Integra, the Remote 2, is if you do have an original DJI Avata, one that you can connect it to and upgrade. You should actually be able to do this via O3 as well. I haven't tried it, but it should work too. But the reality is, it doesn't appear to be the case today that upgrading this on their own and this on their own is working for most people. Now, we don't know when this update is going to be available on Assistant 2 for consumer drones. We don't really fully understand at this moment in time why this is being such a complex update. Usually they just appear, push out, and you're able to update without any issues at all. However, today, it is really important that it is only via the Fly app and it must be that latest version. So if you're having problems, just delete it off your phone, install the fresh one, and then you'll be ready to go. Now, as for getting the Fly app for Android, you will need to go to the DJI website. You can go to their download section. I'm showing it up on the screen here. Download it on your phone, install it on your phone, and then hopefully you will be prompted to update. Anyway, it's just a quick PSA. I can't show you, as I've said, I've already done mine. However, there is a link to the DJI website in the description that has the versions of the firmware you need. It does show the current version numbers. And again, make sure you have that fly app and then you should be ready to go.